Hey up Tony. <laughs> it's only like a fridge, but any water you get, it's, it's, you can use it on irons, kettles, mops, all that sort of stuff because it's, right. it, it's all the calcium's taken out of it. So it'll take all the moisture, any risk of mould and stuff like yes, that as well. Isn't it? Everything. Brilliant, yeah, I'll do that. Just, just get a cheap one. Sorted. Right, let's all do right, a little then. bit. Good afternoon ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. So, I'd like to introduce you to Tony and his friend John who have very kindly brought the caravan down. Um, absolute life savers and this is a massive upgrade over the canvas tent you've seen us living in for the past three weeks now. So, absolutely fantastic. I'd like to share, shake your hand <laughs> and shake your hand. It's been an absolute pleasure, made him a brew. Uh, now I'm just going to have a general chit chat until uh, the part ways and hopefully we'll see him again in the future. You will, definitely. We will. Yeah. Brilliant. Nice one. Ladies and gents, we are back at the outdoors because today is a very exciting day. The caravan did arrive. Tony came through and delivered our caravan today. Absolutely ecstatic. It's not a static, but it is big enough for me and the missus. So we have come to go outdoors because we need to pick up a few necessities, including a electric hookup for the caravan uh, and a few other bits and pieces. So let's crack on with the shot. So this is the caravan aisle. We're hoping to find what we need. On here we need the electric hookup. Oh, here we go, darling. 35 quid. Oh, it's, oh yeah. Members pay 35, should have been 60, so we'll have one of them. 25 should be enough, shouldn't it? Oh. Perfect. And we also need a couple of drainers and cuddle resorters for the drawers. So, got that sorted. And I think I'll be taking one of these tiny, tiny washing bowls because we have got the tiny sink. No man. <laughs> Very kindly give us the aqua roll water and the waste master. Um, I'm not looking forward to emptying that. But I think pretty much everything else sorted. There is an issue with the fridge in the caravan and that issue is it just doesn't work so He's been very kind as to drop us an Alpacool dual zone fridge and freezer. Um, that is an expense on its, on its own, so thank you very much Tony for that. Um, and that will do us until we can get the fridge looked at or pick another one up from another caravan. I think we're also going to get one of these for near the windows. Um, we have been advised to get a dehumidifier for the caravan and, and that should help dry clothes as well. So, And we're also looking at um, something to clean the actual exterior of the caravan with. Although I have no idea whether to use this sort of thing or just stuff for cars. The easiest and cheapest possible way is always best. Oh, tiny baby ones, babe. We'll get one of them. So we've decided to leave all the caravan cleaning products behind today. We're going to do a bit more research into it and see if we can't use something um, as an alternative. I think we're all done here now. Now, ladies and gents, if you have been following the update videos, you'll know that we've been here previously looking at something to store the food in to keep cold. Now, Tony again has dropped off the uh, Alpacool dual zone fridge and freezer unit, which is absolutely fantastic. That's running off my Bluetti solar panel and it only draws like 35 watts on eco. So with the solar out, even on a cloudy day, the solar's pulling in 50 odd watts. So that is literally um, costing us nothing to run and it's keeping everything nice and chilled and icy. Also, a lovely gent and his missus uh, came onto the site today called Dan and Charlotte, and they brought us a electric cool box, 240 volt or 12, um, 12, 240 volt or 12 volt, and similar to this, so that's gonna help as well. But um, yeah, I think we're all covered for refrigerant. How cool is this thing? Now, I remember the BioLite, the small solo wood burners, you could take camping with you and um, they actually charge your devices as they're burning. This is a absolutely massive version. Oh, oh, shh. I didn't break it, it's meant to do that. It's a cracking bit of kit that. Not a cracking price though. So. Right ladies and gents, so this is the promised shopping spree for my beautiful Mrs Janine. And we are out collecting pillows for the caravan today, so plenty of choice I hope. And a mat for the front of the door. 
Anything you uh, fancy? Yeah, I'll take them too. Well, you can spend up to £12.99. <laughs> and that is it. Oh, what about these? No, don't want them. Oh, look, 12 quid. You need hard wearing things, I think, with the dogs as well. So this is first choice. What are we going for? Oh. Oh, that can go through me. And we've already got two of these already, but bloody hell. You're yeah, getting one of them, yeah? Yeah, it'll match the, um, it'll follow through and match. It's got to be matchy matchy. <laughs> That's a nice... Um, it's a gorgeous colour, but it won't match the colours. Oh. And the lady wants two of these. Bloody hell, ten of each. <laughs> oh well, whatever makes her happy. Whatever <laughs> makes the caravan cosy. So we're on the final two cushions. What are you going for? I don't know, because I want something like a brownie colour. I love the feel of that, but that kind of matches the green one. But I don't know if I want all different. Is that not know. going to get ripped apart by the dog's claws? Well, I've already got two of them though. All right, so you want that one. Do you know what I mean? Like, all yeah, that. just match with them. Two of them. I think them, yeah. Yeah. And we're done. So, hello, mission accomplished. And the van does have a little bit of damp just around the back of the rear benches. So, we're going to get some silicon. And I want to bead a silicon around that and just waterproof it best we can until we can get someone to look at it. But, all good. She's coming into one last pillow. Well, this is a, a draft excluder for this the door. Was your idea. No, it wasn't right. Should we? And we've now been dragged down to the decoration aisle. Fall is coming, or autumn as we call it in the UK. Uh, grab a few little. Well, oh, that's cool. And that just like dead plants that you could take off the field. Yeah, but it's a diff. I'm sure it's a diffuser. All right. <sighs> right, we're done. Let's go decorate the van. So, ladies and gents, time for the caravan tour and reveal. So, here is the caravan itself. It is an eldest Crown Regent from 1998. Still in good nick. I've only cleaned this side so far. <laughs> so we'll have a look at that. It'll come up very nice, as you can see. Let's go so, stepping into the van on the left. We have the seating area for six and the dining table. Fully adorned with cushions from yesterday's shopping experience at B&M's. So she did get plenty of cushions and fleeces there to make it all comfy cosy. She does love her cushions. Um, and it is extremely comfortable to sit down. And we're going to have our first home cooked meal there tonight. Looking forward to that. Following around from that is the cooking area. So we have a three ring gas burner up here. We have the grill and the oven ready to go with tonight's Frey Bentos um, tin pies. Fridge unfortunately does not work um, as I've mentioned so we have got the um, Alpacool fridge, Joe's own fridge and freezer there with the Bluetti running that so that is costing literally nothing to run. Um, we have the sink area here with the swivel uh, faucet or tap. Um, hand pump salt, we have a little shelf here that you can knock down while cooking for ingredients, things like that. Cups, more flowers, scents, kitchen roll. Turning round to the side we have our TV area. Picked that up off my brother-in-law last night. So we can now view um, our favourite YouTube videos and Netflix. And then we have the bed area which is a permanent area at the back of the van. This can be used as seating. Um, this one here is actually a bunk which can be put up above the um, double bed. But this will now be our permanent bed area. Um, shower toilet and sink is out of commission currently. I have made a repair on the back of the van today due to a bit of damp in that area. That is now dried out, rectified and siliconed at the back of the van so that should not be an issue anymore. Um, so the toilet does work. That is a cassette toilet but the sink at the back the pipe is disconnected from that and the shower is also leaking so that won't be used wardrobes um full of our stuff at the minute <laughs> that is all the aerial gubbins up there which is disconnected for that's only for terrestrial tv um 
Might get a few hate comments for this, but there is a bit of crap in there. We don't care, mainly food, spices. Behind the TV, we do have a, a lamp and the um, spice rack. Um, for the trolls out there, the PS5 was actually mine before I became homeless because you aren't allowed material possessions, believe it or not. And you're still allowed them when you are homeless. Um, this is my cupboard. Oh, um, everyone needs a junk drawer. There's mine, the laptop, uh, laptop, couple of books, and a few other things. I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure what she's got in half of these. Oh, pasta, sauces, stuff. It's giving you a good rummage around here. That's tonight's tea with some mashed potato, uh, some tins, rice. Oh, she's made quite quite good use of uh, all the storage here. Cups and coffee and things like that. Um, and here we have all of the kitchen utensils. This I believe she was using for, oh, that's tables and boards and stuff in there. Um, possible storage. This is being used for all the veg. So far we've got a pepper and onions and a few other bits in there. But um, loads and loads of storage. In there we've got, oh, place mats, I forgot to put these out. I will be getting a slap upside the head. There you go. And in there we've got knives and forks, uh, plates, and a couple of um, power strips there. In the bottom, cleaning. Lots of candles, um, iron, cleaning supplies. I think we could make better use of that storage, to be honest. I'll have a look at that. Um, we do have a gas fire, fully working, but we're gonna have to watch that, obviously, with the bed being there uh, full time. Up there's just clothes. We have two lights. One, that one's working. That one's not. So I'm gonna do um, unwire them and put a few bits up there. A couple of the Mrs. Pictures. Um, she is particularly proud of this part, the collage of hearts. Um, hearts are a big theme in the house. A lot more in stories that we've not been able to bring, but that's all um, perfumes, a notebook. Um, and there's lots of um, DVDs, Blu-rays, stuff under the set, under the chairs. I uh, can't remember what's in there. Um, and, oh, this one. Um, pots and pans. So yeah, um, it does feel really, really homely. Last night we sat here watching a bit of telly and it does give you that vibe of just a comfy bed sit really. Um, we're not missing anything, we've got all the mod cons. And I think my uh, beautiful Janine is going to visit us in a bit and do a bit on video just to say thank you to all you guys. So. I'll fetch you out later. First meal cooked in the caravan tonight. What are we on, darling? Uh, pie and mash. Pie and mash. Can I have some beans on mine, please? Mm -hmm. Pie's going in the oven. First home cooked meal home -cooked. in the caravan. Well, first caravan. <laughs> first caravan cooked meal in the caravan. Fresh pies coming out. Oh, uh, lovely. Yeah. Perfect. You sure it's the bottom one? Yeah. Good. I mean, oh, it looks nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can eat the girl who was always mean to me. Oh, delicious. Thank you very much, darling. Right, ladies and gents, just before I devour this absolutely uh, awesome tea, I'd just like to thank all of you absolutely fantastic folk for tuning in and joining us on what has been a relatively short journey, has it? And thank Tony as well massively for giving us back a home. Really do appreciate it. I appreciate every single single one of you for your awesome kind generosity as well. We both do. Thank you so much. It means the absolute world and we couldn't have done a lot of the stuff we've done without you guys, so thank you and it means the absolute world. Thank you. Picked on them or put gum in their oh. hairy knuckles so the schoolers had Not to mashed potato for ages now. <laughs> What's it been? No, Nearly a month. Oh yeah. Guy, With that uh, anemic <laughs> chicken in that oh, chicken that <laughs> And I must say, Dan, you've made it very, very 
actually, very it's cool. hard to say. She kind of had an air of corn in her I'm just going to point out that I'm not proud of my heart. But decoration that Stephen did. I did not. I was proud of it. <laughs> I was not a bully. The collage of heart. So I really don't know where we're going from here, ladies and gents. Um, I have been checking regular my emails every day just to check if there's anything from the housing. Is that him over there? Nothing. Um, I did ring them last week. That After day? that, eight days, had, uh, ten days had passed for that letter from the emergency housing to go through. As soon as I rang, they fobbed me off for another week. So I think that is going to be the trend of things now. Um, a lot of you have been saying don't get your hopes up because you are going to be waiting there a long time. And I truly do believe it. Um, yeah, literally no help, no help at all. But this, I just made all the difference. And it was raining before, and it sounded awesome. And the funny thing is, every time me and my missus go camping, sometimes in a caravan, the one thing we always say when we're there is, I could live in a caravan, me. Do you know what? It could very well be a possibility. I'm going to reckon that. So, watch the space. Oh, actually. I love that crispy. Ray Ben Tost talking. That's the scientific equivalent of a smiley face stitch on your homework. I would also like to say, ladies and gents, that me and my beautiful missus have had a very quick turnaround and it's gone from scary shock from losing a house, a home, to being here in a caravan with a TV eating a hot meal. And that's all because again of you absolutely fantastic people out there. So we can't thank you enough, but we know that there are people out there that are facing homelessness and losing their house and our hearts really do go out to you. Um, it is a very, very scary thing to go through. Um, but the scary thing is as well, after a couple of weeks, you kind of come to terms with it and things just become normal again and you do find your feet and your situation will improve. So um, I hope it can be avoided, but if not, just don't panic and things will find the way. I think I'm going to chip a tooth on this place. <laughs> it's nice. It's not my fault. Well, it is my fault. I mean, I just need to get used to it. It reminds me of a National Lampoon's Christmas vacation. You ruined him. With a turkey at the table. Ah. I'll tell you what, you can cook your own food. Like it. What about helping people? And don't. helping people. <laughs> Your cocoa. Oh, curry oh. Half and half instead of whole milk? Yes. But heated to precisely 183 degrees? Yes. Seven little marks.